Hey guys, today I'm making, again, I'm making a video on just how to render out the simple weird animation I made. The only thing I did is cut down the frames to 12, which all you do is type in 12 over here. Um, now here's how to make a camera. Let's first make a camera from our view. Create camera from view. Like that. Now we have a camera right here. Now. Let's maybe move the camera around, which is just let me undo view change, go back to, to perspective. Oh, let's see. Wait a second. First step, Let's uh, turn on safe frames. Uh, not safe. With our free video right there. Over 50 free video are Just got the shows video. right here on where Just it will be video videoed. Select okay. Now let's see how to videos. render it out. Let's Select switch this to rendering. Video. Go to render First settings, step, this video. button right here. Teach your child to read with our free video lessons. Oh, my computer's being weird. Okay, we got our render settings here. Let's, the default, uh, we're just gonna use the default Maya software. Um, but you could change whatever your settings you want. Um, okay, first, we want to change, uh, we want this to be if. You want to scroll down. I think it the default is Maya F, but make sure it is Maya F and switch that. Now we want to change because if you have this to say AVI, you will not get this option right here. So let's make sure you switch it to F. Like that, we, let's we could change this to whatever you want. Let's change the frame padding to two. Um, uh, don't use custom extension. Um, if you want to change where this goes out to, all you have to do is like just go to ah, wait a second. Let me pause the video. Okay, back in to change that. By the way, is go to edit, change Im uh, change project image directory. Then you just change it to where you want. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna keep mine right here. Wait, I'm gonna change it to just go to documents. Wait. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it that way. Um. Yeah, you just wanna change your frame range to the end frame to be 12. Because if you don't change this, it's only gonna record 10 frames. And make sure the camera is the camera you're using um yeah so that's the settings and if you just want to move your camera around let's let me switch back to Let's see. Let's just move our camera. Press space. Oh, yeah. Wait a second. Let me make this go. Let 
Let me close out of over here. Teach your child to read with our free video lessons. Over 50 free video lessons are available at firststepreading.com. Just click on the file to read. Okay, sorry about that. Um, click over here. Make sure your camera is selected. And let's just make it a little more interesting with our camera. Say, rotating. Let's switch to our camera over here. Let's ah, rotate so that gets rotated like that, like that. You might want to create a camera from. Might want to go up to create cameras. Okay, um, you want to go up here, cameras, and so let's create a camera and aim. Like that. It will create a camera right here, you'll see it. Now let's select the camera. Let's zoom out up here and move it over here. Move the what it's focusing on to up here. Move the camera up. Let's select camera. Ah. And you'll see, let's turn on save frames real quick. Like that. Now we know that we want to move our camera out a little bit. And let's just move it down and back like that. Now you. Now let's say we want to like what I said. We want to animate our camera. Let's press S to keyframe this right here. And let's just move this. Just a second. Now you say the words. Switch to that frame. Zoom it out a little like that. And press S. You got a really weird animation right there. Um, and then to render it, you can't just click render right here and it'll render the whole thing. Oh yeah, we gotta create a light. That might be useful. Lights. Let's create an ambient light. Jack. Jack. Um, we've created our ambient light. Let's render that and make sure it looks right and mm, it doesn't lights directional light rotate that's kind of creepy <laughs> yeah moving it doesn't really change how it works Let's just see how that is. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Um. Wait a second. Oops, didn't mean to change that. You know what? Let me change the change this to render to mental ray. Right? Maybe that will change. I doubt it. Normally it looks the same if you on that. Yeah. Well, it, to make sure the lighting is right and stuff. 
on rendering it, you go up to, you switch this to rendering, then go up to render, and click batch render. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial once again. Bye.